It's getting quite dark, so we're gonna go back to the Glormobile and uh, I don't know what to do yet. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go. Hello, welcome back. Thank you for being patient with me because it's been a bit of a, a weird ride recently. Also, quick disclaimer, this video is going to be a little bit... I have about three different haircuts throughout it, and it's... Basically, I had this video ready for a few weeks ago. I actually filmed it before Christmas. It was going to be my kind of Christmas episodes and all of that, but it, it didn't happen because of a variety of factors. Uh, number one, it was Christmas. Um, and to let you know, I did cook... Like... My last Christmas dinner we made in the van together, I absolutely blew that out of the park. I would just like to say on Christmas day, I even made Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings in a van. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll show you, I have to show you because it is the highlight of my life. And I actually had a very good Christmas in the vans. I spent three Christmases in a van now, three Christmases. We spent it on the beach, I spent it with my mum and dad, who also live in a van. Then after Christmas, pretty much, I went and had a shower at this public shower I have been so excited to find. So excited, which honestly, I'm kind of not happy that I'm so excited to find a public shower to shower in. I'm raising my standards from now on. And so I went to have my shower in my newfound showering vicinity i got ill after making a joke about how i'm probably gonna get ill from the showers i got ill from the showers uh which i thought was just a normal flu it wasn't a normal flu it was actually legionnaire's disease and then my mum got it i was fine i recovered and my mom she had it but it went on a bit longer and i was like okay this is a bit strange and so was my dad but I just carried on doing my thing I was going through an existential crisis at the time because I just been going through a rough patch for the last six months like it was just my mental health has been in that absolute drain for a very long time now but anyway my mum then got progressively worse and we were like okay it's it's just a flu maybe we, we should get it checked out because she doesn't normally react like this and she was like no it's fine it's fine i went to the hairdressers and i was there for like six hours because they actually dyed my hair black which was the beginning of all hell breaking loose <laughs> so i got back from my hairdressing appointment 
and I went into my parents' van because my dad was like, I just don't know if she's okay. So I went into the van and um, she just couldn't really speak properly. She couldn't do anything. And I just looked into her eyes and they were just like, she was gone. I was like, no, we're taking her. <laughs> we're taking her to the, to the um, hospital. She couldn't even walk through the door. And we were like, fuck. We left her at the hospital. Obviously when you're in a different country to the one you're born and raised in like hospitals and all that stuff is a lot more complicated to navigate it just is and then in the morning they were like she needs to go to a hospital that was about an hour and a half away and i got there and they were like she's in re reanimation and immediately i translated that in my head because obviously it's in french to resuscitation and i was like what the fuck obviously my dad doesn't speak french so i was kind of just there like i don't really want to say that to him and yeah we went up and she was in intensive care kind of hooked up to all of this shit and they were like yeah she's got legionnaire's disease and it is a very fucking serious disease pretty much they were gonna have to put her in a coma for a few days but luckily she managed to just hold that off but if we waited any longer she would have been dead I literally right now would be planning my mom's funeral if we waited any longer. Um, so yeah, that was just quite traumatic. And then being in the vans just, this is when van life's a bit of an issue because uh, although it was kind of good to be able to stay right outside the hospital, there just was absolutely no facilities for the vans obviously it's a hospital car park but uh so in living conditions during that time i didn't even care you know you just don't care when that kind of thing happens uh about yourself yeah it was just it really, really sucked so yeah that that's why i didn't post a video i just i couldn't do it which hopefully <laughs> you can understand but luckily she is in hospital for some time I was with her, my dad was with her the whole time. Um, the doctors didn't know she was gonna make it. Yeah, it's just such an out of the blue thing to have happened. It does make me kind of sad that public facilities, the showers we showered in, turns out they didn't clean them for three weeks. And not only does that make me mad that there was such a lack of care, and a lack of due diligence when it comes to people's lives. Yeah, I think I'm more just sad for the fact that we were, you end up desperate for a place to have showers when campsites and all that stuff are not open, that you will use grotty, public showers i'll show you and that is the standard of living that you've set yourself i think this the moral of the story is that van life is no fucking joke it is not and the most important lesson i've learned out of all of this is that it's never been the van it's not a lifestyle can't set you free a lifestyle cannot set you free. Nothing can set you free other than yourself. I've learned this a very hard way. But I am very, very grateful that my mum came out the other side. She surprised a lot of doctors and everything, <laughs> pretty much. But she's out and she's in an Airbnb. And I've been staying in the Airbnb with my, my mum and dad as well. It's been a really lovely way to recover. So, so yeah, thank you to you guys for being so supportive. It was really lovely to have a community behind me because I've never had that in my life. And you made me feel not alone. And to everybody who donated to my parents, GoFundMe, they set one up. Um, thank you. You're so kind. Um, really, um, thank you. So yeah, we're gonna be going on a little bit of a journey. I've done, I've actually right now feel the best I've felt in years. 
because I've been very out of touch with myself for a while and uh, yeah so let me take you on a little journey back in time to before Christmas when this video was supposed to come out all right let's do it all right I have my shower attire on it's very exciting to the showers let's go <laughs> all right let's go Stress then. Can't wait to get our feet foot, but it's a nice facility, can't complain. Bad. That is lukewarm water. I either need lava or coal. There is a drainage problem. That's not chic. Oh my god, fuck. Ew, what? Oh my god. Yo, fucking hate that sick grin. God, I have toilet water on my feet. All right, that wasn't too bad, minus the uh, flooding of the floor, which there is nothing to clean up with, and uh, I don't know why that happened. All okay, right, let's go back to the van so I can dry my hair. It's so fucking cold. Okay, my hair has been air drying. It's time to bring out this new thing I have crazy shit oh i kind of like my hair like that i feel like it's i like it when it's all like you get me but um i'm gonna take you through my hair process should i become a, a youtube beauty guru all right step one okay so number one you're going to want to get your hair wet see i like to use um showers in random places i find that are open to the public and normally have pubes all over the wall you might if you're lucky contract a nice foot disease like athlete's foot for example or there are very there are lots of other strains of bacteria that you can catch in communal <laughs> showering areas that's all part of the, the glam okay it's all part of the routine to achieve this Another tip when brushing would be to always, always leave a dreadlock at the back of your hair. It adds so much charm and volume. You know, sometimes it just does its own thing. Now that, that is what we call sexy. And during this period of doing the hair, you must make sure that you have mascara running down your face. This is absolutely critical. So, you know what, sometimes it's just nice to just tease the dreadlock a little bit. It's really uh, good for the hair. You can just hear it breaking. It's so cute. So once you've finished breaking your hair... Bear with me. Now once you've got to this stage, you'll probably find that your hair's too dry to use the hair dryer. Wait. Okay, now we're going to spritz. Now, you might be a bit blown away by the technology I'm using here. If you guys wonder how I get nice hair now, it is through this. It is not plugged in. Okay. Woo. Okay. 
it's giving Goldilocks. All right, I'll be back when it's done. I look kind of like a sheep, but we're gonna roll with it. A Goldilocks sheep. Yeah. But you haven't like a Goldilocks sheep before, so. I'm just out here setting trends, really. Don't say I didn't warn everyone. You ready? Are you steady? Oh shit, my head. It's volume has been served, really. Not a bad job, not a bad job. This is how my hair looks kind of right in a van. Thank you. Right, now we need to cook something. I'm not cooking another roast dinner. Okay, well that steak is uh, frozen, so we're not gonna be having that. Okay, I have these. I'm gonna burn these. I know I'm gonna burn these. It's, it's gonna happen. Because these are things you have to fry in a pan. And if we've learned anything, I cannot fry things in a pan. Gourmet. They're golden brown. A glitch has occurred in the matrix. A glitch has occurred in the matrix. A glitch has occurred in the matrix. I didn't burn it. I didn't burn the fuckers. The day is coming. I did it. I did it. I did it. I don't even know myself anymore. This might be the most enlightened version of myself I've ever been. She doesn't burn food anymore. We didn't even burn the wrap. I think I need to burn something just to ground myself right now because I'm feeling a little bit too much pride. I don't burn stuff anymore. I don't burn stuff anymore. This bitch is over her burning days. I might be Wonder Woman. I might be. Honestly, I'm gonna have to get arrested. I need like the FBI or something to come and detain me because at this point, who knows what else I'm capable of. Look how moist the chicken is. Bam! Now that's a fucking chicken wrap. It doesn't close, but we don't care. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that this is good. It's not. <laughs> It's okay, you know, it's food, I'm grateful to have it, it's just not the roast dinner from last week. Also, sorry about the Sunday upload. Load of dramas to do with my, um, my calendar. If you want to buy one, links in the description. Also, thanks to everybody who has already, you guys have been so supportive, I really appreciate it. Really, um, and I hope you like the calendars. Let me know. Let me know when you get them. I've already had good feedback, so I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> you want to say hello? You've been such a beta character today, haven't you? You haven't been giving main character energy. No, it's been a rough week for you. She ate bird shit and got chronic diarrhea. It's been a bad week for Gigi, hasn't it? But an even worse week for Mummy because she had to clean it all up. Yes, she did. She loves bird shit. It's her favourite food. And I still let you lick me. That's how much I love you. <gasps> oh, wait. I need to show you her bougie coat. I may have bought her multiple uh, clothing items recently. The first being this. She hasn't worn it yet. It's her sequin coat. You want to show how cute you look in your sequin coat? Do you? Do you want to show? You love your sequin coat. Look at you. Aren't you the prettiest girl? Look at that. You are the best. Yes, you are. She owns me. I don't have a say in anything anymore. Between the gold sparkly collar 
this bougie jacket, plus the multitude of harnesses I got her, including a sheepskin one, with a gold sparkly lead. Right, I'm gonna finish this. Thanks for watching, it was fun hanging out with you. Uh, Gigi and I, we're gonna enjoy Gloria's coziness. She just looks extra cozy tonight. I don't know what you think, but she's looking cute, yeah? Hey. Bye.